guys, it's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. I was able to get my hands on the Galaxy S20 Plus, and as of this video, I've spent about three days with it as my main phone. So before my full review, I thought I'd share with you my thoughts on this phone so far. So out of the box, it's pretty clear that Samsung was looking to pick up from where they left off with last year's phones in terms of clean, sleek, super premium hardware, but with the necessary refinements. For starters, the power button is in a much better position than it was on the S10 Plus. It's much easier to reach this time around. There's no more dedicated Bixby button, the phone feels a bit more comfortable to hold, and the screen is nowhere near as curved as it's been on previous phones. In fact, it's almost completely flat. Now, the displays that bleed over the sides are cool and all. I love those displays. They're fun to look at. But if you remember what I said in my S10 Lite video, flat displays are more practical, much more practical. And I do welcome this adjustment from Samsung. And as much as I love the color of the back glass and how the light bounces off of it, in everyday use, the smudges not only take away from that, but they also get extremely annoying and, well, gross. So shout out to this video sponsor, Dbrand, for saving my sanity and protecting my eyes. My, my, my eyes? Wait, what? <laughs> my eyes! So shout out to this video sponsor, Dbrand, for saving my sanity and protecting my devices from not only the buildup of smudges, but scratches as well. You can find this skin and tons more down below in the description. You can also find their grip case that I've been using, and already this thing has protected my S20 Plus from a couple drops. Link below. Okay, so, so far, performance has been great all around. The phone is really fast, battery life has been very solid, everything has worked as it should. Of course, leading up to my full review, I'm going to push the phone to the limit, and I'll be sure to report back with more in-depth details, but honestly, with the specs that this phone has, and with what I've gotten out of the phone so far, I really don't think anything that I put this phone through will prove to be too much for it to handle. The cameras so far are great as well. I can definitely see the improvements from last year's cameras. Again, I'll put them through more testing and I'll go further in depth for the full review. But like I said, so far they're great. Go ahead and let me know what you think. Drop a comment. All right, you know I gotta talk about it. The display. This rather large 6.7 inch AMOLED panel is, I mean, what can I say? It's pure Samsung. This is easily one of the best displays you'll ever see in a smartphone. As usual, it's big, it's bright, it's colorful, it's crisp, and boy, is it smooth. Longtime followers of the channel may remember the times that I've called a phone straight butter because of how fluid the user experience was. Well, this here takes that to a whole new level and I love it. Now, of course, there are a handful of phones out there already rocking the 120 hz refresh rate, but none of them really have that flair, that polish that comes with it being on a flagship Samsung phone. So yes, this phone is, say it with me now, straight butter. It's so incredibly smooth, and pairing that with Samsung's display quality makes for a rather amazing user experience. And even though it's locked to 1080p at 120Hz, in normal use, you kind of just let that slide because one, the refresh rate is so nice, and two, 1080p isn't bad at all. It looks just fine, and it's obviously better for battery life. I do hope, however, to see an update pushed out that'll allow us to enable 120Hz at full resolution. That would be awesome, right? And in addition to that, I think a mode with 90Hz at full res would be dope too, so as to get the best of both worlds. Of course, we just gotta wait and see what Samsung decides to do. Fingers crossed. 
Okay, so all in all, I'm really enjoying this phone so far. It's fun to use. One UI 2 is nice, to me anyway. I like it a lot. Oh, and the biometric security options have been good to me so far. Again, I'm going to continue testing everything out and I'll be back with my full review, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that video. I've got more S20 content coming soon. Let me know what you guys think of Samsung's new phones and let's talk about them in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll talk to you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching.